me like What's up YouTube? Welcome to Hervelas Vapes. My name is Hervelas and yes, I vape. Today I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side review of the RX200S and the RX200. Um, and I'm going to try to make this really short, but I'm going to try to fit as much detail in as I can. So the specs on this, it has the, um, obviously the RX200 chip, it goes up to 200 watts uh, out of the box. You can upgrade it. Uh, you can upgrade the firmware and get up to 250 on the RX200. I have not checked for the RX200S um, because honestly, this I never use that high of a wattage, so I haven't even really been interested to check in it. Um, and I, I haven't even seen what, up, what firmware updates they have, so I'm not sure, but we'll get into that later in another video maybe. Um, but yeah, so the way that I decided to do the side-by-side -side comparison was I would use my RX200 one day with the Goon RDA with a uh, Fuse Clapton 26 gauge core and a 32 gauge wrap. I'm using Nichrome and uh, it ohms out at a 0 0.14, 0 0.15, somewhere around that ball range. Um, and yeah, so I would just switch back and forth. One day I'd use the RX200, the, the next day I'd use the RX200S just to see if they performed equally. And they do, they perform equally. The only thing that I noticed is the RX200 may last 30 to 45 minutes longer, as far as battery life goes, than the RX200S, which honestly, it's really nothing to sneeze at. Like it's, that it there's, that's nothing. Like. Anyways, so the um, obviously both of these are running. Temp, they can run temp control and voltage, um, or power mode, power mode, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. So on temp control, it will run as low as a 0 0.05 and as high as a 1.5, and on power mode, it will run a uh, 0.1 to a 3.5. So pretty good range there of ohms, wherever you're at, wherever you want to vape, however many watts you want to vape, however low you want to vape, this can do it all. It's a catch-all. There's not a whole lot of devices out there that can do more than this. There are ones that can do less, but there aren't really any that can do more. Not that I've seen besides higher watts. But even still, with the firmware update, 250 watts, whether it's true or not, I don't know. Um, and I haven't checked. So I'm not, I'm not going to get into that. But vaping on these things, they are, they're identical. There's really not much of a difference. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, I will just show you guys a quick comparison. I'm running this on 100 watts. Um, again, this is only at a 0.15 and I think it's getting a little dry. I got my juice right here. So let me juice it up and all right. So yeah, hundred Watts. And I mean, It does a good job. It does. Um, and then I'll switch it to the 200S. Put that down. And I will show you guys how it fires on this. 100 watts. 0.15. I don't see any difference. Doesn't feel any different. So, essentially... If you have not bought this mod already, um, the 200S or the 200, do it. There's no reason not to. Honestly, this thing's a workhorse. It will do whatever you need it to do. And 
it's a catch-all. This thing, uh, I get all day battery out of it, and then some. And yeah, no drop, no voltage drop. It's just power hits all day long. I never have to worry about it. Even when the battery starts to go dead, it it still hits hard. And finally, when the battery starts blinking, it'll start dropping voltage. But way at the end, and that goes for both of these. They're literally the exact same mod. So if you are trying to decide which one you would like to get, the RX 200S or the 200, it's all about screen preference. If you want the one inch screen, the big one, then yeah, go for it. If you want the more classic look, go for it. Because these are the same mods. They don't do anything different. It's just one has a bigger screen and it looks cooler. And the other one is a little bit more classic look, which a lot of people still like. So that's all I have to say about it. I will catch you guys next week, Thursday, 8 p.m. If you guys have any questions or comments, or if you guys would like to tell me what you guys think of the RX 200 or the 200S, or if you've experienced any differences in the mods, let me know. I want to hear from you guys. I want your feedback. This, this is a review show. This is all about testing uh, equipment and seeing how it works, seeing if it works properly, seeing if it's living up to the expectation. And for me, this thing has absolutely lived up to the expectations. Jaybo Wismek, you guys did a freaking fantastic job. And honestly, this probably will continue to be my mod that I always go back to no matter what mod I get, because this thing is just such a workhorse. I absolutely love it. I love it with the goon. I love the way it looks. I love the way it fits in my hand. I love that you can't knock it over. This thing is just, there's a reason why everyone and their mother has bought this mod. And it's because it works amazingly well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you guys next week, Thursday, 8 p.m. And don't forget, ever, life is always better when you vape.